In this video, we will show you how to use Navrisk to monitor and report upon missing patches across your Breakfix clients, turn resulting missing patch reports directly into sales, lastly how to easily automate the application of missing patches across multiple devices. To access the patching settings, you'll find a patching tab up here. Now in here you have the SLA area. You can set up monitoring for missing patches by the age that they have been released from Microsoft. For an example, in here I have warnings set to 7 days. So if there are missing patches that fall outside of this list of exceptions that are older than 7 days and still missing from a device, then they will now send me an email an alert telling me that they're missing. If they reach 14 days, they become a threat and 21 days become a failure. Now you also may not want to know about all categories. So as I have here, I've got category exceptions. To add more, simply click on the button and tick the box of the other categories you want to add as an exception. In Navrisk you can also schedule patches and these will install patches that have been authorized. You can also automatically authorize a certain category if you wish. For the example here, this will automatically authorize and install all security updates on the next patching job. Below is a list of all the different missing patches across all devices in which you can click the title to go to the KB article and read up on the description of this patch to find out what it's about. You can see the current SLA status of that patch, as well as the number of devices that it's missing from. You can click on this number to see which devices it's missing from. From this list, you can also select multiple patches by ticking the boxes. Now with this list, you can choose to show a filter. So I may only want to see security updates. Now that I've done that, I can select the ones that I'm happy with, go to the tasks drop down menu over here in the corner, and I can choose to install them now, add exceptions, so I may not want to hear from them again. I can also authorize patches, which is if I have a scheduled job for these. As an example of the workflow, you can go into the ticket console here, select your filter to show only security tickets. This will list all the different tickets for missing patches. For example, the one for cash flow sports. If we open this up, the ticket has already had a sales ticket created for it. To do this, all we need to do is click on sales. We can choose if an email is going to be sent to the end user, and we can edit the content however we wish. After hitting save and send, it will either send their email if selected, and it will also create a ticket into the opportunities. This now becomes a revenue opportunity for you to go and organize the patches to be installed on their site. In here, the sales team can click on activate, assign the ticket to themselves or another user, and it is then up to them to organize the patching with the end user. You can also click on Report Devices to show you the missing list of patches and which devices. You can then send this report to the end user to explain why they patch. After the client has signed off on the quote, you can then come back into Navrisk, go into the Patching tab, select the client that has accepted the quote, and then under the Missing Patches, select all the different patches that you want to install, go to the Tasks drop-down menu, and click on Install Patches. That concludes this video.